It's undeniable. Technology has changed our world over the past 75 years. Dr. Jack Britt, a retired dairy industry professor, scientist, and consultant from Etowah, North Carolina, can attest to that. He's seen significant changes in technology and dairy cattle reproduction just during his lifetime. My first experience in terms of how dairy cattle were bred was that you turned the bull loose and he ran with the herd. And if a cow happened to be in heat or showing estrus, uh, he would mate her. But then we moved to artificial insemination where we were selecting better genetically bulls that the semen could be frozen and we could inseminate cows with the best bulls in the country or in the world. Additional reproductive technologies such as timed ovulation followed, enhancing AI efforts and improving overall fertility. Another innovation has allowed for earlier pregnancy diagnostics for dairy cattle. So it's amazing. We, we can know uh, by 23 or 4 days after the cow is inseminated or mated whether there's an embryo there and, and whether it's going to survive. Britt says dairy producers' ability to control breeding is healthier for dairy cattle because it's easier to limit the cow's lactation length. It's had a huge impact on the genetic, genetic progress that we've made and our ability not only to breed cows that are more fertile, but are healthier and more productive. So it's a, a, great, a great benefit for the farmers today. But every new technology begins somewhere. And for many of today's dairy innovations, it's at Western Kentucky University's Smart Holstein Lab. A partnership with Holstein Association USA, the research facility puts new tools and programs to the test and prepares them for real-world applications on the farm. Britt, a Western Kentucky University alumnus, says it's exciting to compare all the technologies at once. The technologies that we have today that we're using, electronic technologies, are technologies that are fairly easy to use by farmers and farm workers. Also, they address the major management issues that we have to deal with every day. Determining how much a cow eats each day, if she's experiencing any health problems, or if she's fertile, are all examples of data that can be collected by technology being tested in the WKU Smart Holstein Lab. And at the center of it all, is the U.S. registered Holstein cow. What is really great about the registered Holsteins, we understand the genetics of the animal, and in registered animals, we know their pedigree for many generations. For Holstein Association USA, I'm Miles Ramsey.